Hey guys, the topic for today's video is furunculosis. So, basically, furuncul is the other name given to localized acute otitis externa. So here, so the plan of today's video is that we would know the etiology, the definition, the part of ear which is involved, how many furunculosis will occur, what is the clinical presentation of the person, and what is the associated feature, and what is the examination finding, what is the treatment, and what is the other thing which is going to be similar to this. So this is the POA, so the plan of action is dealt with already. So let's dive right into the topic furunculosis. So the etiology of furunculosis, before knowing that, we would know the definition of furunculosis. So basically we have this ear which is having this external ear called the pinna. Well this pinna is going to have this canal. So this canal is called the external auditory canal. So basically the furunculosis is considered as a condition which is affecting the external auditory canal. Which means that whenever the external auditory canal has a problem, then this is going to get affected. So furuncle is going to be the inflammation or the infection of hair follicle. It can occur literally in every hair. But then since the cartilaginous part of the external auditory canal alone has the hair, that's going to be the one which is involved over here. And then the etiology of it. The favorite bacteria called the Staphylococcus aureus is going to cause the infection. The part of the ear which is mainly involved is going to be the cartilaginous part of the external auditory canal. It's pretty simple, right? Because the external auditory canal has two parts, which is the bony part and the cartilaginous part. So basically, the bony part is going to be bony and it has no cartilage. I mean, no hair follicles. Whereas cartilaginous part has this hair follicle, okay? So wherever hair follicles there, there's going to be frankulosis. Well, how many is going to occur? Usually, it's going to be single, but sometimes more than one can also occur. Clinical feature. The person is going to present with one main complaint. There's going to be a lot of pain, along with tenderness. But the key feature of this tenderness and pain is that even though the boil or the furuncle is going to be this small, the pain can be this big. So the person says, I have a lot of pain, but then turns out it's a very tiny furuncle. It's often associated with pain aggravated on movements of the jaw. So whenever the person starts chewing foot, there's going to be a lot of pain. Examination. So the examination finding is going to be edema. So what happens if, if there is a furuncle um, there is going to be edema over the mastoid. So as we already know, there is this ear, and there is this furuncle over here, and behind the ear we have the mastoid. So what happens is that there is going to be edema over the mastoid. So what happens is that the particular groove which is exactly present behind the ear in front of the mastoid process is going to get obliterated, somewhat like this, and it's all edematous. There's going to be a lot of edema. But in addition to edema, there's going to be lymphadenopathy as well. Lymph nodes in the anterior, posterior, as well as the inferior periauricular area, periauricular areas are going to be inflamed. And then treatment. Treat treatment could be early and late. For early cases, there are a lot of treatments. One, we can give a systemic antibiotic. Two, we can also give, to alleviate pain, we can give a painkiller or an analgesic. Three, just like the, the old people's medicine that is application of heat locally. And last but not the least, we can also do a ear pack. Well, you might have to learn the composition of the ear pack. It is two components, ectymol and glycerine. Ethanol used here is going to be 10% age. 
Well, the function of ecthymol is that it's a mild antiseptic agent, meaning it's going to be cleaning. And then glycerol, which is hygro hygroscopic, meaning it's going to relieve the edema. Well, that's about the early treatment. What happens in the late part of the course? In late treatment, it's going to be incision and drainage of the abscess. Because Frankel is basically a localized collection of the abscess, right? And then comes the other form of Frankulosis. So Frankulosis has this other form. So what happens is that the form is going to be occurring over and over again. It's the same Frankulosis, okay? But then it occurs over and over again. It's called recurrent Frankulosis. So if a person complains of recurrent Frankulosis, you might have to do a blood test shares their sugar value because most probably the person is a diabetic. In addition, what we need to take care is that take care that the nose of the person is free of the free of a lot of infection. Because as we already know, the nose is going to be the part where Staphylococcus aureus is going to be there. Because Staphylococcus aureus loves the vestibule of the nose. And in addition, Staphylococcal infection could be also in the skin. That's why source identification is very important. Well, thanks for watching today's video. Hope you'll really like this video. Give it a thumbs up and make sure you have clicked that subscribe button and stay on the bright side of life.